Welcome back to Stupid Mo- Fuck, what episode number are we on? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Stupid Movies. So what? <laughs> 123. Where we watch them so you don't have to. That's right. And this week we watched A Beginner's Guide to Snuff. Man, this movie was just fucking just what we needed this morning. Yes. Uh, made in 2016, unrated, 87 minutes. Uh, it was directed by Mitchell Altieri. It had Joey Kern in it. Joey Kern, so, Luke Edwards, Bree Williams. Uh, it was from IndyCan Pictures. Yes. Indy which, uh, I mean, God, they've done so many good... They did Smothered, they did Massacre on Isle 12, they did... Um, Love in the Time of Monsters with Kane Hodder. So what's this movie about? Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> this movie's about two brothers who are in uh, in the industry, in the movie industry... And they they just don't break in at all. They can't get going on anything. And so they decide they're going to make their own movie. And they're going to do a real fake snuff. Instead of going the traditional route and hiring an actress and, you know, working out scenes and everything, they decide to kidnap her. And... Can't, don't want to give much away because it kind of... Yeah, it's tough because I want to talk about so much of the second half of this movie is just phenomenal yeah but i don't want to tell you about it because i don't want to ruin how cool it is right i thought the story was good oh yeah simple it, it's pretty straightforward uh but man it was really good really really, really funny yeah that, that's one of the best things it's not really a horror movie no it's more of a thriller a little bit maybe thriller yeah mainly comedy comedy it's not really a snuff film no not a lot of gore but what was there was effective yeah it, it, and that's me being a gore fan I always want more gore, but I get why. Right. There wasn't, but there was some, yeah. and it was practical. But it was pretty good. Uh, you can always use more gore. I mean, rom-com drama could use gore. Right, right. That might be kind of weird. It'd be a little weird, but <laughs> it'd be doable. People banging away. Uh, and some blood just goes everywhere. No boobs. Nope, which, no me no being boobs. a boob fan. You're the gore fan, <laughs> I'm the boob fan. Yeah. Um, but it... It kind of didn't need it. No. It was one of those, you didn't really <coughs> think about it. There was a lot of man patch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the guys in their whitey tidies walking around and just... Moose knuckle everywhere. <laughs> Moose knuckle everywhere. Uh, yeah. And then there's a scene where you see a fake dong. Part of a fake dong. Part of it. About. It was bigger than me. Well, yeah, I mean, me it too. was fake. It was so bigger I... than the two of us together, so. <laughs> oh, gee. Oh. <laughs> I will take your word for it. <laughs> it's nice to see a movie taking a crack at being equal a little bit. Yeah. Because there's so many horror movies with, you know, women running around in their underwear or topless or, or completely naked even. And you don't see that from dudes a lot. And they actually even made a point about that in the movie. It was right. like, oh, why is it okay when it's a woman who's the victim, but when all of a sudden it's a man, it's an issue. And I thought right. it was kind of nice to see them taking a crack at that. Yeah, that was true. One of my favorite parts of this is when <laughs> oh, there was a dog that kept barking. <laughs> Joey Kern's character hates this dog. He just gets up and looks at him like, shut up! 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 It was just funny. That was Possibly the most honest moment of the movie yeah, is like I can see real. me doing that exactly like not at first But after months and months of dealing with this barking constant, dog. Constant. Yeah, you want to do the same thing. Yeah, or barking cat <laughs> um, One thing that I thought was really cool in this movie if you are a movie fan Almost every scene they quote another movie they threw out so many great movie quotes. I missed some of them that you caught. You missed some of them that I caught. Yeah. They referenced a ton of horror movies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Stand <laughs> By Me. They referenced that. Eat your face. Eat your, Eat your own face. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it, was a, it was a fun movie. Pacing was good. Little parts dragged a little bit. It but, had uh, some slow moments, but... To be expected, yeah. this kind of movie. Yeah. But... It flowed pretty well. 87 minutes, it didn't feel like it was longer like last week. Yeah. <laughs> you know that. This is the totally opposite from last week. Uh, it was, it was a very good indie production. Yeah. I don't know that we need to say that. But you had it written here, so I thought... Oh, well, I just read... Yeah. yeah. So we've got notes. <laughs> oh, and, and hey... In case you didn't uh, see, we've got notes. These are our cheat sheets. Essential... Coffee. Essential drinking. Mm. Essential drinking. <laughs> but yes, check this movie out. I don't know where you can really... Look. It's probably... I think it's on Amazon Prime. Um, 
Yeah, I think but, I'm sure. Go find it. Go find it. It's, you can find it out there. I will say I will give this a seven point two and a half point three out of eight. Shit, I didn't even think about a score. I have to poop. Uh, I think I'll give this like a, a 7.55 repeating out of 8. Nice. So we watch it so you don't have to, but again, the second week in a row. Yeah, go watch it. Go watch it, definitely. You can find us at facebook.com slash stupid movies. And on Instagram at stupid movies. You can check me out too at the horror punk. See the uh, next time. See the next time? <laughs> Bye! Bye. Penis, penis, yeah. penis, 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 penis. No dong or schlong or... Yeah. <laughs>